Welcome back to CVM at Sunrise. Teens for Technology has donated thousands of computers to over 400 schools and community-based organizations in Jamaica. Recently, they started Teens for Technology in high schools, which teaches students to build and assemble computers. Mark Jones, executive director and co-founder for Teens for Technology, will speak about the program as well as the partnership with the Spanish Town Spanish Court Hotel. Also, Jadine Thomas from St. Hughes and Tommy Gooden from Excelsior High will demonstrate the skills they've learned in a competition to see who can put together the parts in the fastest time. I'm going to allow you all to start now. <laughs> All right, now Mark, thank you so much for being here this morning. Tell thank me you. a little bit about Teens for Technology. How did it get started? Well, Teens for Technology started by teenagers. Uh, so my 13-year-old son was visiting in Jamaica, mm -hmm. uh, started talking to a Judah driver about where his children went to school, found out that they, as it turned out at Mountain View Primary, 850 students and two computers at the time. This is 2001. Right. So uh, Anders, my son, said, Dad, that can't be right. I go to a school with 850 kids and we have 400 computers. Mm -hmm. Let's do something about that. So he did. Uh, and he, uh, over the next year, he came down to Jamaica. He also got his friends who were teenagers in the United States to be very interested in this. Uh, he got his technology teacher involved. And before you knew it, uh, he had talked to Microsoft, Air Jamaica, Hilton Hotels, and managed to uh, organize a donation effort to put 10 computers, uh, about 70 pieces of software, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, a, a full computer lab in Mountain View Primary. Great. Now that's 2002, and today that lab has about 35 computers. Wow. It's one of the greatest technology programs in primary school mm -hmm. in Jamaica. And Definitely. that's in Mountain View. Now why is it so important for, the, for them to learn to build the computer themselves? Well, uh, I just think it is uh, a very empowering uh, activity. And if you, uh, if, if you think about where the world has gone, mm -hmm. uh, in 2001, 2002, uh, the government's objective was to put a computer in each school. And so now, six years later, we have s high school students building computers. Right. That is a, a road that has been traveled. Mm -hmm. And I was just saying before, before we started, I was saying to Janine, what, you're going to put together a computer? And she said, oh, it's easy. <laughs> it's easy. We're going to see after a while. Now, Spanish Court Hotel, tell me the relation with this. Well, Teens for Technology uh, has worked to put computer labs in schools. And this is a, a ground-up, community-based uh, operation. Mm -hmm. And we require each of the schools to contribute a portion of the cost themselves. Right. How that has happened is that schools have gone out into the business sector and found sponsors. Right. Now, Spanish Court, as a new, uh, you know, a new hotel in Kingston, with a particular technology orientation, very edgy place if you see any of the rooms or walk into mm -hmm. the, the hotel, and, uh, and they also have a very strong uh, social um, uh, commitment and yeah. uh, view of their place. And so, uh, we talked to them and they said we would like to participate in this program uh, on a large-scale basis and an ongoing committed basis. So they are actually contributing a dollar, a U.S. dollar per room night for, uh, you know, for this program. Right. And they also asked their guests uh, if they would like to contribute and most of the guests are doing so. Mm -hmm. So this is funding a, an ongoing um, uh, donation that matches up with the with the community schools that are looking to participate, uh, and it's just it's part of the it's it's part of the way that we're able to uh, keep the computer donations going. Right. Um, we've we've put 5,000 computers in schools in the past five years, mm -hmm. and with uh, partners like Spanish Court, that is going to continue. Right, and we look forward to seeing. No, no, Tommy. I see you keep working because I don't want Jadine, <laughs> I don't want you to blame me if Jadine wins, uh, you know. I don't want you to blame me. <coughs> no, you're going at it. Am I distracting you by talking? No, 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 no. Oh, because you're an expert, right? Not really. But what did you think when you found out that you were going to learn how to put together a computer yourself? Well, um, actually, I've learned before. It's mm -hmm. not that the, the club has basically enhanced my skills. It's not that they have taught me, okay. more like enhanced my skills. So I was really happy to know that. 
And I know it's, it has been fun. It has been fun. It has been fun. Trust me, it has been fun. Now, you said that, that it has enhanced your skills. What are you planning to do in the future? How is this going to help? Well, um, I'm planning to go either in the media sector, in the, <laughs> you know. <laughs> so you're working for, okay, because I say, like, if you're working for my job, I'm going over to Judy now, you know. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I'm working. For okay, you. see you yeah. later, Tommy. <laughs> Jadine, how is it going? It's been fine. No, don't stop working. Don't stop working, please. Now, you are, as a female doing this, very often females think, oh, tech electronics, we can't do this type of thing, but you're proving us very wrong. How is it? How easy is it? It's actually very easy. Once you learn the basics of it, you can actually go through it with ease. Mm -hmm. Keep working, keep working. <laughs> you can actually go through it with ease. Yeah. Now, Mark, you said that this has been going on for a little while now. What kind of changes are you seeing in the students themselves being involved in this? Well, this is a very empowering process. And the clubs a actually have two purposes. One is education, which is what you're seeing here. But the other is community service. Right. Because that is really the, you know, that is the origins of the whole movement. So uh, at this point, we have four high schools who are our foundation clubs. Uh, and that's Excelsior, St. Hughes, who you have here, right. and then Gainstead and Camperdown. And each club has 50 to 70 students. And on the service end, each club adopts a primary school, and each club adopts a community center. Oh, great. So it's a chain. of Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the primary schools, uh, the club is responsible for teaching the younger kids about Internet safety and being safe uh, in c with computers. Right. And who better to deliver that message than teenagers to the, peers, to, right. the, to peers a little bit further. Mm -hmm. And for the community centers, uh, the, the uh, high school students are going in and teaching adults who aren't familiar with computers how to set up an email account so they can communicate with their grandchildren in England or something. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, in the same way that the uh, American teenagers in their day took on a mission that no one b could believe, we see the Teens for Technology clubs here in Jamaica helping to change the whole landscape and enrich themselves mm -hmm. by doing service. Now you said that you have four foundation schools. Now all, all the other teenagers that are watching the different schools and are saying, but we want this yes, here. Yes. Is there any way for them to get to get Well, it? We're, we started with four because we want to get it right. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of responsibility on these four schools because there are 200, 200 to 250 students now wi in Teens for Technology for this. Uh, we would hope to have 40 or 50 schools in the next 12 months. Okay. And that becomes 2,000, 2,500 kids. So we need to get this right, right. Uh, before that all happens. So we'll just work with this core fund. Everybody else, you just have to kind of bide your time. But it will happen it eventually. It will happen, for sure. All right, now we are out of time. I'm going to tell you, they're working very hard. And it look kind of like what it looks like for real. So I'm sure they know what we're doing. We're going to take a break. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. And I'm going to say who wins, and I'll tell you later. <laughs> we'll have more coming up on CVM at Sunrise. Please stick around. Oh yes, we are really having fun. Rashane McDonald.